to do is ask. Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? It's time for another tutorial from Pinnacle Studio Pro. Aight people, it's request time. I had somebody ask me, do you know how to do scrolling text? Y'all know how I get down. You know I can do these things and I'm bringing it to you because I love doing this stuff all right let's get into it first and foremost when you're making scrolling text or scrolling credits for your movie film documentary i don't care what it is you got to make sure that your text matches your theme all right you can't be taking some technological background and putting cheeseburger font on it all right Ain't nobody out there trying to eat a robotic hamburger. So, those two things just don't mix. But, as you can see, in my timeline, I got a video clip already. It's good to go. It's screaming to be edited. It's sitting here. And if I play this, you can see, I got a little technological theme my dang self. I got holograms and things going on. Stuff popping in and off the screen is looking so lovely. Alright? This needs some great text. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick the correct text for my theme. And you saw it in the demo, but I'm going to show you how to get it done, people. All right? First and foremost, if your playhead is anywhere away from the clip, make sure you click on the clip so that the playhead goes right to the beginning of the clip. This is important when you bring your uh, title over the clip. Now, you want to make sure that the timeline track above the video clip is empty because you're going to be putting your title there now you want to activate this clip before you use the create title button so the clip that is light is the clip that is selected so if you left click on the track all the way over to the left above the video clip and then hit the create title button you will have a title created above your video clip at this point, I'm not going to do anything. I need a few finishing touches before I start putting text and things on here because I don't want to have to make adjustments later on. So I'm going to click OK and just leave it like it is. Now, this will help you from having to make adjustments later and fixing your timing and all of that. Set up your clip for your title length first before you start typing and doing all kinds of stuff with it. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this out to be the same length as the video clip below it. So I'm going to put my cursor right near the end of it. And you'll see that now I have a little arrow and a line. So I'm going to left click, hold the left click on the mouse down and move to the right. And I will drag this clip all the way out to the end. It'll lock itself right there. All right. So I want this to play through the whole clip. But the beginning, I don't want the title to just jump right on when the video clip jumps on. I want the video clip to jump on first. So I'm going to bring my mouse to the beginning. Until I see a little line and an arrow, I'm going to left click, hold that down, and drag it to a position I like. So this is going to save me a lot of time and trying to fix timing and stuff later because now everything's all set up before I even start editing. All right. So now I'm ready to do my text thing. So I'm going to right click on the title clip and I'm going to go to edit title. All right, the title, edit, the title editor opens up. If I can speak correctly, sometimes my tongue gets so freaking twisted. All right, anyway, now I'm ready to start doing my thing. First thing I want to do is I want to bring up the video clip that is behind or beneath the text. So I'm going to go to the solo button down here. It's a little carrot to the right of it. I'm going to click on that and change this to show media and tracks below. This is important because now I can see my text and my video clip all at the same time. I know everything that's going on. All right, so anything I change as far as colors and stuff, I'm going to know how it looks, if it blends, if it doesn't mix, if it matches, it's looking all freaky, McNasty, I'll know. So now what I want to do, select the text. So I'm going to just go ahead and make sure that the, 
the text is selected. I'm going to left click and drag this over here. And I'm going to type my title, which you already know because you saw it in the demo. All right, circuit overload. But this text doesn't match. The text sucks for this thing. I'm going to make it how I want it. I'm going to highlight my text again. I'm going to go over to the font area for the font style. You can see all these different settings. Bold, italic, underline, left indent, center, right, justify, all of that good stuff. So I'm going to click on the little carrot next to Times New Roman. Times New Roman. I'm going to select my text. I already know what I want my text to be. But as you can see, have little examples of what each text or font style is going to look like before you even apply it. So that's pretty cool. All right, that's the text I want right there. Bam. Look, now it matches. You got a little circuit thing going on, looking all computerized and stuff. Let's blow this up. I'm going to go to the font size, and I'm going to click the carrot next to that. And I'm going to bring this up to 144. Bam. So next thing I want to do is I want this to stand out some because if you look at it right now, it's white over this blue, but there's also a lot of white in here. So there's a lot of ways you can make text stand out. You can add a, a shadow, background. You can uh, offset uh, things and just find different ways to make it stand out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to face and I'm going to go to the outline. So I'm going to click on the outline detail. I'm going to change the color by clicking on the fill box. And you can choose whatever color you want. I'm going to do red. And I'm going to scroll down here to click on the apply button. And bam, now you see the red around there. Last thing I want to do with this is change this to italicize. So I'm going to click the italic button. And I like that. It's looking real good. But I want to add some motion. The girls say they like the motion and the ocean. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this text again. I'm going to go to motions. And I'm going to start off with the enter motion. So the enter motion, I just want to go from... Uh, Page from the bottom. So that means that everything is going to come up from the bottom all together. So I'm going to click on that and it will apply it to the entrance. As you can see right here, this is the entrance. If you ever put something on here that you don't like, you can just click on this little X here and it will take it away. All right. And this means these little dots between these two pills means that this is all the time that the motion is taking place. Once it gets past this little pill, it's just going to stay in the center of the screen for the rest of the time. All right, but I want to add an exit also. So I'm going to click on exit. And I just want to do a page fade. So I'm going to go to page fade. Apply that. And the reason why I like this one is because it kind of makes the outline blend in with the white. And when it fades away, it turns a little red first. And then it kind of fades off the screen. So I like that. Now, I don't want this circuit overload to be over the whole video clip. And right now, if you look on the text layer, you can tell it's... All the way across so I'm gonna change that if you click on this little pill here you can left click hold your mouse down and move this over and it will only play during this duration from these two pills also if I want to change how long the motions on the screen I can left click and drag these over to change that as well because I still want the section in the middle to be kind of large enough for the the title to sit there in the middle of the screen for a minute so I'm gonna click play and see how this looks looks pretty good I'm gonna make the entrance a little bit longer because it came on kind of fast if I make it longer it'll slow it down a little bit so let's see now I like that a lot better all right we're good <clears throat> so now now I'm done with the first part I want to add my scrolling text so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move this uh, playhead away from the first part of the title all right I want to come over to this section here where the text layers are. I want to right click. And I'm going to do add text. So it added text, but what the heck? Text is way off the screen looking crazy. That looks real freaking crazy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come right here. To, yes, to group a line. You know, sometimes you got to play with the buttons to figure it out. But now I can pick where on the screen I want the text to be. And I want it right in the middle. So I'm going to click on center and it centered it for me 
All right, a few other things. Let's start off piece by piece. All right, the text doesn't need to be this big for the credits. All right, so let's bring it down to like 48. All right, I'm also going to take the italics off because I just want the title of the movie or whatever to have the italics for this particular uh, scrolling text or scrolling credits that I'm doing. So for this part, what I'm going to do instead of typing in here, I'm going to do all my typing here. The reason why is because I can easily see everything that I'm doing, even if the text goes off the screen. And you'll see what I'm talking about in a second. So I'm just going to highlight this and I'm going to start typing my stuff here. So I'm going to start off with like starring. And I'll hit enter. And now I'm going to change my font size for the second line to a bigger font because it's a person's name. Now I'm going to hit enter a few times. I think that's good. And I'm going to do co-starring. But let me change my little font back to 48. And I'll hit enter to go underneath that. Change my font size again. All right, so I'm going to hit enter five more times here. And then I'll go ahead and change my font back again to 48. And as you can tell, the theme here, I'm changing, making the font bigger for every time I put a person's name or whatever. So now you see the benefit of me typing in this box here instead of typing on the screen because now everything is on here and I don't have to worry about having to see it on the screen when I do it. I can see it in this little box here. So now I want to get my scroll on. So what I need to do is go back to motions and now I need to go to emphasis. Now, usually when you talk about emphasizing something, you talk about emphasizing one thing, like you're going to emphasize the word in a sentence. But when you use emphasis on here, it means that it is applied across the whole entire motion. So if you click on emphasis and get some options here, first one, roll up. So what this is going to do is going to make it roll up. Just keep rolling, 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 or something like that. You know, I don't know the song that well, but, you know, I know it say something about rolling. All right, now you can see right now in that preview that my stuff's all mixed up and jumbled. That's whack. I need to fix that. So I'm going to click on roll up so that it applies it to my title. And now, remember when I clicked on this and dragged it over? Well, guess what? We see the text layer here. We're going to click on the beginning and drag it this way. All right, now where I'm going to drag it to is a position where I want it to start on the screen let's see bring my playhead over here i wanted to start like right when that fades off and that's pretty good man you got that right on point didn't you mr malik so right when that fades off now we got the words coming in so you want to drag this to a position that you like where it kind of adds to the flavor so if i hit play you'll see my circuit overload and it's going to fade and boom here comes my scrolling credits now of course if we thought those credits were like eh too fast we can move this over and then move this over some more too change up our timings on these things you can play with it make it exactly how you want it to look I like it just like that. Everything's in place. It's looking beautiful. So I'm going to click OK. All right. The last little thing we need to fix on this bad boy is this. The beginning of this clip, you can see right now the beginning, 
It just like starts right there on the screen. It's not really even fading on, fading off. It just was kind of whack to me. So what I want to do, because you know I'm a little bit of a perfectionist on these things, is I'm gonna just add a fade at the beginning. So I want to put my cursor at the corner to when it has the little arrow and the carrot, and you see the page flip down. And I'm gonna add a little fade to this. All right, the fade in the beginning will help sell that coming onto the screen so you just make your fade as long as you want it to be all right might not need to be as long as the one that i'm doing but let's take a look at this see what it looks like i like that looking real crispy people looking real dang crispy all right people it's a wrap how to do scrolling credits or scrolling text in Pinnacle Studio 16. All right, people, you know the routine, all right? The thumb, the one that's pointed in the upward direction. Click it, like it, live it, love it. Hug it. Comments. Leave me those comments, all right? You know I'll get back to you if you leave me a comment. If you need help, I'll try to help you. And if I can't, I'll point you in the right direction so you can get the freaking help that you freaking deserve. And last but definitely not least, don't you ever forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon. We'll